In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best items to sell inside of Pet Simulator 99. So there's a ton of items in the game, and I'm going to be going over some of the best ones to sell at the time of making this video. Now, this will probably be good for like a week or two or three weeks. So if you're watching any time that ban, then that's good. So anyways, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy, and I'm going to go ahead and hop straight into it. Starting with number one, an item that was just recently made tradable. So I'm going to be going over a whole bunch of items that I think are the best to sell that have made me a ton of gems and starting with number one the prison keys prison keys everybody can get them from the prison world you just got to go in here now i wouldn't recommend grinding it anymore but if you still have any of these prison keys i know a lot of you guys have at least a couple because you had to do some to get through it to get to the obby world so if you even got a couple of those just sell them you can make a ton of gems i've sold over four thousand of these already and i have made a ton of gems i wonder if it yeah look here's this one i did 16 hours ago for 3715 i received 260 million gems for that so yeah as you can see they are really really good and the thing is a lot of people have them now they are going to go down and wrap that's my only thing so make sure the reason i'm talking about this now is because you want to make sure you sell these fast they might the thing is they are harder to get now so maybe they'll like stay i bet they'll stay around like 40 to 50 thousand but they are going to go down a little more so i would recommend selling these now yesterday they were at around 90k and now they're at 69k so obviously they've gone down a ton I plan to sell mine soon too. I'm just too lazy to do it right now. And while we're talking about keys, keys is actually one of the other great ways to sell and get gems. So now it's not as much as it was in the prison world. In the prison world with that boss chest, you could get so many items. I made over a billion gems just selling these these um just these random keys. Now, obviously, now they've they've gone down a lot because everyone else realized this too, but you can still get quite a bit of keys just by grinding the last world and breaking the big chest in the obby world so if you get a ton of keys sell them i do not recommend opening them now maybe if you're insane you know you got insane luck or something then maybe open them i would not recommend it because it is not worth it you could just sell like 2,000 crystal keys and you'd have enough to get a wizard westy but that's also a personal opinion i'm just saying how you could get a ton of gems and that is one of the items that you could sell to get a lot of gems and another one while we're on the topic is seashells seashells is something you should be selling right now because they're gonna go down a ton and then well here's the thing seashells are gonna go down a ton but once the summer event is done they're going to go back up a little bit because the sea cells will most likely only be obtainable in the obby world and in order to there's you know there's a summer gift and that's the only really thing seashells do is they they you, you use them for the summer gifts so I would recommend selling these now or maybe you know crafting them into summer gifts you want and then but if you craft them into summer gifts hold them until after the summer event is gone because here's what i did now i so i had to sell around a thousand of the glitch gifts for the clan battle but i still kept around 300 and look how much or 200 and look how much they're worth now so i recommend selling them i also did it with the titanic christmas presents sadly i didn't keep as much of these ones because you know it's when the game first sort of came out I also did it with the New Year's gifts I've been doing it for all the gifts I recommend you guys do it too because as you can see they go up a ton from when they were first in the game now some other things I recommend selling are stuff like the global event gifts because they're just not worth opening at all you have a small chance to get a huge pet and if you don't get a huge pet then you just lost a bunch of gems because the huge isn't even that expensive to get it's only cost like 50 of them and as you can see I did not get anything good right there sadly but yeah, I would just recommend selling those. I've sold I've sold those and made over 200 million. Um, now, here's the thing. Most of the stuff you do get from grinding. I, I can already see all you guys in the comment sections like, oh yeah, this is just the pay to win way. This is for the pay to win only. And sadly, a lot of the ways I'm gonna talk about in this video are for the pay to win only. But I mean, not necessarily the pay to win only, but you have to be able to AFK the game because how you get items and stuff in this game is by AFK. You just gotta sit there and your pets grind and all that so sadly that is one of the main ways now luckily a lot of this stuff like keys you can get a little easier than other things now some things that i recommend selling that a lot of people should have are fruit bundles and fruits tons of tons of people if you're pretty good at the game you're probably you're probably trying to max out fruits i know i am and fruits are what everyone's searching for especially these bundle of fruits except they're out of sale there no one can usually find them because they buy out so fast if you got any of these bundles of fruits or these fruits right here the apples through watermelons 
and you don't care about the fruit mastery, I recommend going and trying to sell those because there is a ton of people who will buy them for overpriced. Like if you're if you find the right people, and especially if you have a lot, if you have like let's say you have like thirty thousand to a hundred thousand of each, you can buy you can find someone that will overpay a ton just because of how much fruits you have. So I would recommend selling those if you do not care about the fruits mastery. Um, but I know you might regret it later if you start caring about it if you get really good at the game. I don't know, it's kind of just a personal thing, but a lot of people are looking for those, so it's a good way to make some gems. As far as pets go, there isn't really any huges or in particular that are like, you know, you should really sell now, unless you get one of the new huge pineapple pets. If you get the new huge pineapple monkey, or the huge sun agony then you should sell them because they're gonna be worth a lot more now than they will be in a week however in like let's say five months I bet they'll be worth a lot again because they won't be you won't be able to get them anymore we actually we don't know if the huge pineapple monkey will be forever in the game because the sun because the obby world is going to be in the game forever in case you're wondering you're always going to be able to play it but we don't know about the if the huge pineapple monkey will stay in the game along with the huge sun agony now if they don't stay in the game these will go up a bit after the event is over but if you get one right now especially I recommend selling them for whatever the wrap is trying to and then hopefully you get those gems and then just buy one if you if you really like it just buy one like it in like a month or two because yeah it kind of just it's better to sell stuff once you first get it in an event and then just buy it a little later when the before the event ends before it goes up a bit along with pets i was going to talk about stat pets stat pets you need to sell the second you get them stat pets are super good when they first people don't know what the best pet is what pets are good they just want to buy the best some people do so you can make a ton of profit selling these especially if you played this update and you did that you probably made a ton because these new pets are not very hard to get I've hatched for maybe an hour and I know I'm paid to win but I've got a rainbow sun agony a couple rainbow monkeys and I meant paid I'm I bought it I got them all from the uh, the egg in the obby world but I mean like you know I got I got game passes and all that but still I got a ton of stuff in like an hour of hatching and I've seen a lot of free-to-play people say hey I like this update because it's not hard to get the pets so if you were able to sell these I bet you made a ton because people don't know what the value of this pineapple monkey is or stat pets when they first come out so some people sold this for like 30 to 40 million gems obviously now it's not worth that and it's gonna keep on going down because it's really really easy to get so I would recommend when an update comes out get there as fast as you can is this helps more of your pay to win but get there as fast as you win or can hatch the egg a couple times go to the trading plaza and sell it um funny enough this actually previous update apparently i was one of the first people to get to the egg because i randomly right i get to the egg i hatch it a couple times and i get a little notification at the top of the screen that i got the blue flying carpet so apparently i was top 10 on the power leaderboard for like a couple seconds um which is kind of funny just means i got to the i got to the final zone first and opened the egg i guess so that was kind of funny i honestly sadly i don't really like how it looks i'm kind of i've been using the the um uh, the rug hoverboard for pet simulator 99 and half of pet simulator x so i like to switch it up a little bit and i really like this bubble but anyways getting a little off track there besides all those pets you know there's the common active huge pets always sell your active huge pets if you get any because they're gonna most likely just keep going down since they're active huge pets you can keep getting them over and over you've been able to get them for months how many of the fluffy cat are right, i don't have any of the fluffy cats right now um because i i like to sell them how many of the fluffy cats exist Oh, only 63,000, you know, I thought it was a little more than that, but I recommend selling those the second you get them. Same with exclusive eggs. Exclusive with eggs, if you're rich, you can make a ton. Like, I'm talking about Robux rich. You can make a ton of money off of exclusive eggs just selling them. Don't be like me. Don't open them. I'm going to always open them just because I like to do it, but don't be like me. Just sell them. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about here, everyone should be able to do this because enchanted potions are so some of the easiest items to get inside of the game and I'm not gonna lie they're pretty easy to get and look how much you can sell these for if I go ahead and look at some of these I have 20 million gems worth of criticals now obviously this is because I have been um I've been afking a lot recently for the clan battle but this just I'm just trying to show how much gems you could currently make off of just selling these like 27 million of tap power 
Um, look, see, look how this is just a ton. Four, almost 40 million of coins. By the way, the reason the coins ones are worth more than all the others, because you're probably like, why would the coins be worth the most? It's because of stuff like this. If I head over to the uh, XP potions, I think, yeah, right here, and go to the masteries, you need 12 coins to craft a mastery potion. That is the literal only reason that coins and chants are higher, because you need them for stuff like that. It's also why tap powers are a little higher. If I go to tap power, which one was that? It was like tap out. Yeah, it was like this one. As you can see, tap power is 4.45k. Strong pets is less. Um, I guess the coins one's a lot for some reason. But um, yeah, it's just like some stuff like that. So I recommend if you don't need your enchants, sell them. Um, and another reason why enchants are worth still a decent price. By the way, never craft enchants unless you're trying to get your enchants mastery up. Just buy them because look at look how expensive this can get. If I go ahead and go over here, let's say I wanted to craft some new ones. This is 24 million right here. Let's say I wanted to craft these coins ones. It's like it's really expensive. I could just go ahead and craft. Let's see, actually. So I mean, this is 14. Look, I'm actually I'm not losing value if I did this, but still. With potions, you especially are, and it gets a little annoying, but yeah, like I said, do this with potions too, because potions and enchants, really easy to get, and you can make a ton of gems just stop selling those. Now, I, that's a little more the slower route, though, a little more free-to-play wise, because you're not going to make a ton of gems over, it's more of just like over time and continuing to do it, your gems will slowly start to stack up. Um, another good thing to sell is stuff like charm stones and all that, because People always want charm stones. I wonder if I can get anything good in a 352. I'm not I'm not gonna try it. Also, another thing is these uh rainbow mini chests and stuff. Until these are under 500 k sell them because you get around 500 k every time you use this. I, I, I have too many gems, so it doesn't show me exactly how much, but you get around 500 k every time you open one of these. You also do get some pretty cool items, but it's still better just to sell this for like 700 k gems right now than to open them. The mini chests, I'm also pretty sure you should just sell. Those ones I'm not as sure about, but I've seen a lot of people talk about you should be selling those ones. Anyways, though, besides that, all that I really know left is stuff like pinatas. Pinatas you can make a ton off of just because people need them for ranks. I got over 102 million gems and pinatas. By the way, I did reach rank 30. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. There's a couple giveaways for 500 Robux and gems going on in my Discord server right now. I'd appreciate if you join that. Link to my Discord server is in the description. Um, I can also help you with any questions you have in there or just ask me in the comment section. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have, any, have an amazing rest of your day, everybody. Goodbye.